In order to connect to AWS, there are two possible ways we can do this. The first one we're going to look at is to connect using the providers feature on the serverless framework dashboard. To start, I'm going to type serverless login on the CLI to log me into my serverless account or create my new account to get started. Once I've logged in or created my account, I should see a success message on the CLI. In the browser, I need to create an app. I'm going to choose the add an existing serverless framework project. I need to give my app a name and the service name from my serverless.yaml file. After clicking deploy, it's going to ask me to create a provider. And then I'm going to click the create role button. And this will open up a tab to my AWS account. And now I'm going to be prompted to create a stack. This stack will set up an IAM role for me and then connect that role to my serverless account. I just need to acknowledge that and create stack. And now I need to wait for the stack to be created. Once the stack is created, I'm going to go back to the dashboard and it's going to automatically import my role. Now I just need to copy the org and app properties that I set in the dashboard into my serverless.yaml file, save the file, and I can deploy. An alternative method is to use credentials locally. I'm logged into AWS here and I've gone to the Identity and Access Management Service based in AWS. I'm going to go click on the Add User button. I'm going to give my user a name. I'm going to give it programmatic access because that's all I need. I'm going to go to permissions, choose attach existing policies. To keep things simple for now, I'm going to choose administrator access, but you can revisit these permissions later. I'm not going to add any tags. I'm going to review my information and it looks fine. And I'm going to create the user. This gives me an access key in secret, and I'm going to add this onto my local machine as follows. Back in the command line, I can use the serverless conflict credentials command like this to set my local credentials for deployment. And now I'm ready to deploy using my AWS credentials profile, my test credentials.